Good morning, everybody. In this class, we are going to study about national movement in India, partition, and the independence of our country. Basically, we are going to study the period between 1939 to 1947. You know that Portuguese are the first foreigners who came to our country on March 17th, 1498 AD. Vasco de Gama was the first person to discover sea route to our country. After discovering sea route, many foreigners came to our country, but these foreigners did not settle in our country. It was only Britishers who ruled our country for 190 years. They, named, they came to our country in the name of East Indian Company. In, they established East Indian Company in 1600s. East Indian Company captured power in 1757 in our country. Literally, they ruled from 1757 to 1947. They ruled for 190 years. Our Indians revolted in 1857, which is called the First War of Independence or Sepai Mutiny. But Indians did not get uh, survive, and Indians did not win in, win in this battle. The Britishers throughout, even in the partition, they always followed a policy that is called divide and rule policy. Previously, when Britishers come to our place, we are united. The first the thing that done by Britishers is they destroyed our unity. After destroying unity, they have divided our sins. Even the India and Pakistan got divided only because of the policies followed by Britishers. Otherwise, we have brotherhood relationship between fraternity between India and Pakistan. Pakistan was also a, a part of our country. We cannot imagine how big our country if Pakistan was not got bifurcated from our country. In this class, we are we are going to study about some patriotic feelings. Uh, everyone feels proud to be an Indian, and rightly so, because today we are enjoying freedom. We need not shed. We need not to shed our blood for the sake of nation, but we will only have to follow the truth, non-violence. That was the footprints of our uh, national leaders. In this, the entire class, since I like Gandhi, I am going to tell the pain of Gandhi during this period. No, to get accepted by one person only takes lot of difficulty. He has accepted by millions of Indians. Then you can imagine how great that person was. And in this class, I am going to tell you about the elections, when the elections first conducted and which party has won and after that what happened, what is the role of Muslim Sulli, then what is, what is the role played by Muhammad Ali Jinnah, what is the role played by Subhash Chandra Bose, what is the role played by Sardar Vallabhai Patel, how you unite, how he united the entire country, we are going to discuss and history, keep on saying many things also, we never get any satisfaction, so as the same class. If I keep on saying all the facts also, you you are you feel that someone is missing or something will be empty. Right? I do my I promise you, I do my level best to explain you everything in this class. Right? In 1935, before that we have some of the acts which are passed in 1909, 1917, 1935. In 1935, it is government of on government of India Act which is given by the British Parliament. According to this act, the elections will be conducted and Indian Prime Minister will be elected. Prime Minister will be elected from Indians, but even though Prime Minister is from Indians, they should work under the supervision of British Governor General. That is a rule kept by this uh, British government. Then indirectly, who is ruling us? If we are in that situation, indirectly the British Governor General is ruling us, the instructions given by Sir Winston Churchill, who was uh, Prime Minister of England during that time. I would like to tell you one small thing about England is, England, there will be Parliament and there will be King. Ultimately, Parliament is the highest in England, but King plays a nominal role. It is not a democratic country, but it is a republic country. But India is a democratic country and a republic country. Every democratic Every democratic country may not be a republic country. Sorry, every republic country may not be a democratic country in the case of England. And whatever Winston Churchill passed the rules, the governor general has to follow this. 
ultimately we were under the rule of britishers even though elections was conducted in 1937 my dear students please note it down the first elections in our country was conducted in 1937 but as per our first general elections after getting independence it was conducted in 1952 The first general elections was conducted in 1952, but during the British time, the first elections was conducted in 1937. By the Act of 1935, Government of India Act, 1935 is called Government of India Act, where the elections will be conducted. Even though elections are conducted, they, they the elected Prime Minister should work should work under the supervision of British Governor General. and now how to conduct elections 12% there are two kinds of elections was conducted one election conducted for provincial assemblies and other election was conducted for central assembly to elect prime minister provincial assembly in the sense they have made some uh, some provincial assemblies in the provincial assembly only 12% are given chance to vote normally After reaching 18 years, everybody will get right to vote, but it did not happen. The Britishers, with their great mind, they have given, they have selected only 12% of voters in the provincial assemblies and 1% of voters for the central assembly. Overall, the elections was conducted for 11 provinces. In the 11 provinces, Indian National Congress able to win eight provinces. and formed the government of indian national congress elections was conducted for to 11 provinces out of 11 provinces indian national congress has won 8 provinces by marking the prime minister from indian national congress my dear students elections was conducted to 11 provinces out of 11 provinces 8 provinces was won by indian national congress that indian national congress was formed in 1885 indian national congress was formed in 1885 and congress prime minister under the supervision of british governor general we can understand who is ultimately ruling us it was british governor general who was ruling us it was british parliament who is making laws even though when we have our own parliament but it was british parliament who ruled us and when the when the new congress government formed form, congress government demanded for full freedom they demanded for full freedom but they did not give that full freedom they have spoken with even uh, winston churchill the team went and spoke with speak with winston churchill but then also full freedom was not guaranteed and if you play if you go back to the old scenario there are two major powers the war is going on because the war started on 1st september 1939 where hitler has done bomb attack on dangling port everybody know this we have discussed about this in the previous classes and in the previous videos the entire world was divided into two powers one is axis powers and other one is allies powers axis powers we have germany italy and japan in the allies powers we have britain france ussr later joined by usa now indians are in dilemma ultimately the greatest leader in indian national congress is mahatma gandhi he never want any he never want any post or any portfolio he wants only one agenda he want to unite all indians but he wanted to carry out a movement peace nanvels albert einstein the great has written about mahatma gandhi after some generations if you think about a man called gandhi walked on the indian soil he is very you know no one will believe such a person who never give importance to his blessing who never give importance for anything who always wants to establish nonviolent peace and who always wants who always works for the welfare of the nation for getting independence he sacrificed his life for getting independence if may not gandhi 
we we have been suppressed by this british rulers it was gandhi who took the leadership who initiated normally in our family if you have two members one one blood will be one will be blood boiling and another will be uh, silent and we cannot stop in one family we cannot stop our younger brother or elder brother you can imagine how the gandhi has done lot of hard work and how he carried the movement he is a really inspiration to many he is a inspirational character to many and at that time gandhi ji some of indian there is a party by him communist party of india who has who gives utmost respect to russia because the communism started in russia they they felt like that communism not they felt it was real communism was started in russia they are inspired by the lenin stalin these are the communist leaders and they followed the communism in our country that and they formed a party that is known as communist party of india and cpi they would like to support to allies powers but gandhi ji don't want to do that we are fighting against the britishers how can we support to british did you understand what i am saying cpm cpi communist party of india in the country during that period of time 1937 like that 1939 when the world war second world war began on 1st september 1949 the cpi party support supported to the elis but gandhi ji did not like that did not like to support either elis or axis he wanted to he wanted to win over british empire that is the ideology of gandhi and they did not support seeing this the britishers who are very cruel in nature they created a distance between religion they they have created religion feelings they said that indian national congress party is a hindu party it is not a muslim party at that time hindus are majority muslims are minority indian national congress has got vote from both muslims and hindus it did not get only hindu votes but the british has told that hindu hindu rulers will collect more taxes from you you are humiliated by hindus you you should also participate in elections you should also form the party before that only if i am right in 1906 the muslim league party was formed by mohammad ali jinnah who was the famous ruler as we praise gandhi pakistan people praise mohammad ali jinnah because he was a founder of muslim league party in 1906 which was very famous in bombay and madras during that times and mohammad ali jinnah he conducted many meetings to the muslims and saying that our rights has to be protected we must have a new party and they formed a muslim league party and muslim league party contested in 1937 elections along with indian national congress but they won only one or two seats out of 482 muslim seats they have they won the muslim party has won only one or two seats out of 482 muslim seats and congress has won 26 out of 58 muslim seats and they proved that congress is not a hindu party it is a party for all it is a party for all it did not have such kind of feelings it was only the britishers who created such kind of feelings among the muslims otherwise they have formulated a concept called divide and rule policy they have formulated a policy called divide and rule policy and with the divide and rule policy muslims and hindus they created lot of hate muslims and the hindus fought in many places in bombay and madras actually we if we all are united britishers cannot crack our even one hair off i mean one drop of hair off first they created this feelings between indians between uh, hindus and muslims india is a country with unity and diversity we always give importance to everybody 
And similarly in Punjab, they, in Punjab we have more Sikhs and Sikhs and Muslims. They created disturbance between Sikhs, Sikhs who are Hindus and Muslims. They created like this. These are given more importance and Muslim leaders or Muslim people are not given importance. Like that they created. If they don't create, why they have created everything is we did not support them during World War II. Indians did not support them during the World War II. That is the reason why they have created racial feelings between Hindus and Muslims. If that were not created, we might not have get partition from Pakistan. It is very painful partition that happened between India and Pakistan. How did the word Pakistan has come from? The word Pakistan has come from Chaudhary Rahmat Ali from Cambridge. He used to print pamphlets. He has given the word name Pakistan in the 1930 itself. But no one, no one stressed that word and, and no one did not know it is going to be the country, it is going to be the country name at that time. When Chaudhary Rahmat Ali was the first person to give the name Pakistan. When he was first given Pakistan, no one did not know that it is going to become the country name. And I would like to say about one more important person, Muhammad Iqbal, in 1930. He has given a slogan, Sare Jahan Se Achcha, Sare Jahan Se Achcha, Hindustan Hamara, who, spoke, who speaks about the North West Muslim state. He always wants Northwest Muslim state to be formed. And however, elections conducted in 1939, where Congress able to win 92%, 92% of the Hindu votes and mixed with Muslim votes. But Muslim party has won only up to 86% if I am right. 86%. Then everything is completed. Everybody Muslims began to know that we were humiliated under Hindus. They wanted to get separated. There are hartals are going on, rallies are going on, and Britishers encouraged them. Britishers encouraged them like anything. And before that, I would like to tell you that in 1941, Japan was its, in its peaks. Japan defeated Britain. Japan defeated USA and Japan has even defeated USA and Japan wanted to declare a war against India. Now, all Gandhiji and everybody collected in one place and they, they conducted a meeting. The meeting is either to support to Japan or to support to Britain. That is the main agenda of meeting. Gandhiji told that we need not to support either to Japan or Britain. We know that Japan is going to win on Britain without any doubt. When Japan wins, when Japan wins on Britain, when ja Japan wins on Britain, it is very easy for us to defeat Japan. In 1941, Japan is in its peaks in the World War. What Japan felt, you know, what Indians, Indians conducted a meeting under the leadership of Gandhi. They felt that if you, if we win, if Britishers last from the Japan, it is very easy to defeat Japan. That is the feeling of Gandhi. But Subhash Chandra Bose did not felt like that. He has organized INA, Indian National Army, Hajar in the force. He went to Japan. He went to Japan. He went to Germany. And he released many prisoners of war. POW. Prisoners of war. From the Japan and Germany. He released many prisoners of war. That is POW. From Germany and Japan. And he asked them to join in INA. Britishers are very much worried about this man. Subhash Chandra Bose. Gandhiji is carrying out is movement in a peaceful way, but Subhash Chandra Bose created terror 
created fear among the British people because such a huge army he gathered the army from Japan he gathered the army from Germany it, it was such a big such a big army the name of army is Indian National Army Indian National Army INA and Hazard Hindu Post these are the two biggest which is nothing but Hazard Hindu Post Indian National Army which is nothing but Hazard Hindu Post Subhash Chandra Bose and our troops which created terror among British by seeing the troops. Subhash Chandra Bose is not going to support British anymore. He wanted to support Japan. And when Subhash Chandra Bose met Gandhi, and I would like to tell you before one relation I would like to tell you. In 1942, when Gandhi ji started the Quit India movement, Winston Churchill has sent his minister Sanford Cripps and Sanford Cripps uh, conducted a meeting he conducted a meeting with Indians Indians has told only one thing Gandhiji has told one thing we will have a united India we don't want to get Muslims and Hindus get separated we all go to a mother our Mother name is Bharata Mahata, nothing but India. We all want to get united, but this was not accepted by the Muslim rulers. And Crips mission in 1942, Crips mission was failed. And Gandhiji, after launching the Quit India movement, he was arrested for five years and he was kept in the jail. From 1942 to 1945, Gandhiji was in jail. When Gandhiji was in jail, Subhash Chandra Bose met Gandhi. When Subhash Chandra Bose met Gandhi, Gandhi did not accept the proposal of Subhash Chandra Bose. Subhash Chandra Bose wanted to form INA, Indian National Army, or Hazad in the post because he wanted to do it in a violent manner, but it was not liked by Gandhi. Gandhi wanted to carry the movement in a non violent manner, but Subhash Chandra Bose wanted to carry the movement in a violent manner. How can Gandhi accept? Gandhiji did not accept the proposal. But Subhash Chandra Bose did not listen to the Gandhi. He was such a person who never listened to anybody. And we can say that for getting independence, it is not only non-violence and truth, it is the hand of Subhash Chandra Bose also. We should not forget him. And after some time, in 1945, Subhash Chandra Bose was missing. Even his dead body was not found. Up to now, no one did not know Netaji, the great Subhash Chandra Bose. He who created fear among the Britishers by going to Japan and by going to Germany, releasing the prisoners of war POW and formed an Indian National Army, Hazad Hindu Post. Still now, no one did not know what happened to Subhash Chandra Bose. There are many stories, it happened like that, it happened like that. But we did not know the reality. Till, till now, till now in the modern India, we did not know the, the reality what happened to Subhash Chandra Bose. And then the British government was, was very much not satisfied with the things done by Indians. Gandhiji started quitting a movement, Gandhiji was sent to jail, and Subhash Chandra Bose. Who, who, had, who wanted to help the Axis powers, but Britain is in the side of Allies powers. Up to 1942, what Gandhiji taught, you know, after the old war, Britain will be defeated and we will be getting independence. But they did not give independence. This is one side of this part. And another side of part is there, the Muslim League rose to the peak. Muslim League able to get the confidence, confidence of entire, of entire Muslim rulers. And they wanted to have a separate country. They wanted to have a separate country. And three times, before having, before discussing about this, I would like to tell you one, one, one more thing. When Subhash Chandra Bose, when Subhash Chandra Bose was tried, then Royal Indian Naval Army, Royal Indian Navy, Royal Indian Navy, because when Subhash Chandra Bose was tried, all the Azad Hindu Post leaders and INA leaders, Indian National Army leaders were treated very badly. They were treated very badly. 
they have some were kept in the jail and some were punished very hardly and some some of indian national army were killed because they don't have leader and after subhash chandra bose there is no one to lead again there is no one to lead indian i mean azad hind post they were left without father they were left without leader and britishers took advantage of them not, not normal advantage they took heavy advantage of them if they see anybody they killed like that they killed or someone were kept in the prison or someone treated very badly at that time at that time royal india navy went on a hunger strike they went on a hunger strike they have they have stopped 70 ships and 20 shore establishment and 2000 20000 ratings and hindus and muslims are also joined and moreover 3000 miller workers 3 3 lakhs miller workers 3 lakhs of miller workers on 22nd february they, they they protested they protested for two days they continuously protested for two days on 18th february on 18th february this happened on 18th february indian royal indian navy royal indian navy and 3 lakh million sorry 3 lakh mill workers not million 3 lakh mill workers they joined along them they went for a hunger strike it was joined by both muslims and hindus in that time hatta it was joined by both hindus and muslims and anyhow after two days i mean after four days 22nd february tibar tibar all the farmers protested in tibar they all protested because they are not getting quality of food the indian navy are not getting quality of food navy means they will be in ships they will be in ships they are not getting quality of food they are worried about quality of food and not only that they are suppressed by these britishers and tibag has also got its own importance tibag is provisional agricultural sang it is provisional provincial agricultural sang it was even the farmers from hyderabad also joined in this movement this movement is tibag movement very important movement which which happened in 22nd february in 22nd february and and finally crips mission was failed in 1942 and then in 1940 in 1946 three member mission arrived in delhi three member mission under the under the leadership of winston churchill arrived in delhi and they began to they began to satisfy the muslim rulers and the hindu and finally gandhi ji after thinking a lot and why everybody are in hartals and there was huge differences between hindus and muslims there were huge fightings between hindus and muslims yes the indian national congress has accepted for the bifurcation of india and pakistan but before that the pakistan mohammad ali jinnah has asked them and sarode ultimatum asked them some of to separate punjab in punjab there are muslims and sikhs to give to sub, to segregate punjab into two parts one should belong to pakistan and other punjab should belong to india same as with bengal same as with west bengal some part should be given to pakistan who are muslims and some part, hindu part should be given to india like, like that it was bifurcated and gandhi ji is against the bifurcation in the ancient states but after seeing the people who are fighting very hard then gandhi ji decided if it is bifurcated then it will be good then finally pakistan was formed on 14th august 1947 pakistan got independence on 14th august 1947 india got independence on 15th august 1947 which is a memorable day in the history of mankind where many indians shed their lives for the sake of nation and not only that during this time mount batten was the governor general mount batten was the last governor general who has bifurcated india and pakistan which is very important concept to bring up mount batten was the last governor general of british india 
and not only this once after getting independence only three we, out of 500 provincial states three provincial states was not united they are kashmir hyderabad and junagar initially sardar vallabhai patel because gandhi ji was gandhi ji died in actually i want to say about gandhi also before that 28 january 1948 a murder attempt has happened on gandhi but on 30th january 1948 gandhi ji was killed by naturam gadse naturam gadse was a pure hindu he he always he has great passion towards hinduism what naturam gadse felt like that india got separated from muslims and muslim league was not formed in 1906 and gandhi ji supported muslim league and Gandhi ji supported Muslim leaders. Gandhi ji supported Muhammad Ali Jinnah, M.A. Jinnah, like that Naturam Gadse felt. And Naturam Gadse felt like that. And Naturam Gadse killed Gandhi when Gandhi offered prayers and coming back, coming back from the prayer hall. Gandhi ji was dead shot here on the chest. And Gandhi ji, when he was, when he was died, Gandhi ji with, with a smile, Gandhi ji with a smile, he died. Where India has lost a great person. India has lost a great person with great values who is nothing but the father of nation. Who is nothing but the father of nation. Even though he born from the Gujarat, he did not see that difference. He has led the movement in a peaceful way. In fact, today we are enjoying this independence only because of him and because of uh, Sardar, oh, uh, because of Subhash Chandra Bose. And uh, once Gandhi ji died, some of the three states, Junagar, then Hyderabad, Kashmir, did not get a part of Union India. They are out of Union India. They are out of Union India by 1948. And Sardar Vallabhai Patel, took an initiative, who is known as Iron Man of India, took an initiative and served a memorandum to Hyderabad, Junagar and Kashmir. If you don't sign in a bond to join with us, then Indian Army will come to your place. Then Indian Army will come to your place. The consequences you have to face. Then immediately, all the three places, out of 500 provincial states, only 497, only 497, that was joined in Union in India. Three were not joined in Union in India. They were Hyderabad, Junagar, Hyderabad, Junagar and Kashmir. They were under the rule of kings. They did not join in the India. Then Sardar Vallabhai Patel took an initiative to make them join in our country. And hence, all the three joined in our country. And India got independence on 15th August 1947. India became complete republic on 26 January 1950, which we celebrate as Republic Day, which we celebrate as Republic Day. And by 1956, Andhra Pradesh got, on November 1st, Andhra Pradesh got separated from Tamil Nadu, from the Chennai people. And Karnataka is also formed, is also formed on linguistic basis, on, on the language basis. It was only on November 1st, 1956, on the basis of linguistics, the states were bifurcated. And India got partition from Pakistan on 14th August 1947, which no Indian will maybe forget this. And all these things are happened only because of Britishers who followed divide and rule. If there is no divide and rule, Indians may be uh, a, a, as united as no one can expect this. And today, by God's case, in 2022, our economy, is in, our economy status is an outstanding economy status. Even Britain economy status has fallen down. We can say from this, days are not alike. One day, everybody will have their end. Whatever things we do, we have to face it one day. And thank you for giving this golden opportunity.